Hi everybody. This vehicle is a 2011 Chevy Traverse and today I'm going to be working on the rear lift gate supports. So this vehicle has a problem where if you open the rear tailgate it goes up part way and then drops right back down. So here's a remote control. I'm going to hit the rear tailgate button. and then it closes right back up. And the reason for that is because the lift gate support rods have failed. So basically that's these piston rods here that help to hold the door up. So I got a couple of new ones on Amazon for about 20 bucks and today we're gonna swap them out. So let's get started. So changing out these is kind of easy. There's basically a metal clip on this end and another metal clip down on this end. Just pop them off, take out the shock, and then we can put the new one in. So I just got a little screwdriver, stick it in the back end here, and just walk out the clip. Just want to be careful because these are springy. You don't want them to fly off and you know hit you in the head. And then we'll take the other one off down at the bottom. So same thing. There's the clip. Then I'm just going to get a little bit of a bigger screwdriver just to push this off. Okay. Okay. Oh, that one's actually working. See it? Right out. What do you mean working? Shock is working. Push the door right out. Oh man. Ooh, that's working fine. What's wrong with this one? I'm gonna just do the same thing on the passenger side. <laughs> it just came, whole thing came right out. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one that's broken. So we actually only needed to replace the one. So what are we gonna do? Put the other one back on? Yeah, I'll put two new ones in. I bought the two new ones were twenty dollars, so it's not yeah. really worth. You'll really do keep the other one just to have on. Keep it for a spare. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there we go. This one is the one that's bad. Has nothing. So probably the nitrogen charge leaked out of the cylinder. And now it has no pressure to keep itself open anymore. So now to reinstall the new ones, it's kind of easy. They already come with the clips pre-installed on the ball joints. So all I had to do is line it up and push them on. Get this part here. Rotate the cylinder a little bit to line it up. All right, so this side already has the clip installed, so just have to hold it over the ball joint and just smack it on. And then that side's installed. So now this side's a little bit off and it's not lined up with the ball joint. So I have to rotate it slightly to the right so that it's lined up. And then I can lift the door, line it up, line it up, and then push it on. And that's it. So now I have the new pistons installed so we can get rid of the stand. And now the door will stay up by itself. So just to test it out, I'm gonna operate the door. I'm just gonna close it real quick. And now to test it real quick, I'm gonna reopen it with the remote control. and the door stays up by itself. So, pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.